I can't believe I'm making this video right now. Like, I cannot believe I'm making this video. But, welcome back. First of all, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn because I'm gonna take you on a three day journey of me wrapping my car. So, by the title of this video and the thumbnail, you guys already know what's coming. Like I told you guys in the last video, I'm just gonna make one big video instead of making like two, three different videos. But, the guy's on his way here. He's actually gonna be wrapping a car at my house. I'm just kind of like in disbelief I'm actually wrapping my car so I'm gonna call myself out real quick now I told you guys that I never wrapped my car I told you that but honestly guys what the deal breaker for me was when I painted the Miata so it was funny I I've been planning on wrapping my car for a couple months not a couple months I'd say like a month or two now I just never said anything but what was the deal breaker was when I painted the Miata the reason why it was a deal breaker was because I saw how much work and how much time and how much effort it took to actually paint a car honestly you're not gonna understand this if you've never got your car painted but I saw what it took with the Miata and don't get me wrong like I'm not against paint I will always still love paint to this day but for me, wanting something different, wanting something different like that without less effort, wrapping the car is the best way to go. Now, obviously, people are going to be like, oh, you should have known that, blah, blah, People who know me are going to be like, oh, I told you this, blah, blah, blah. So, enough of that. Um, the guy's on his way here. So, uh, right now, I'm trying to wash the car, get it all clean so that we can take it apart. This is going to be the last time. This is going to be the last time that I wash my paint, my car, with actual paint. Alright, so take a good look at the car because this is a pretty, um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll get a clip of the car tomorrow with paint, but nonetheless, we're getting started. So before we get started, vlog meet Daniel, Daniel meet vlog. So we were talking before I uh, actually started recording. So basically what we're going to do tonight is we're going to try to get everything off. So headlights off, we're going to get the door handles off, and then from there... Yeah, I didn't I didn't think that the camo so basically he was saying um, He was saying that we can't really so the wing as you guys saw on the channel how we took this apart how, how it came apart So we're gonna have to stretch the vinyl over this before we take it off because the the camo has to match up now Because since we're splitting the the uh, the wrap so on the black side It doesn't really matter but on the camo side since it has to line up, we can't take anything apart yet. One of the things doing camel wrap, everything has to line up. You can't really stretch anything too much without distorting the look of it. So it's gonna be pretty tough, but you know, it's gonna be able to get done. It's not gonna be too hard. Uh, just following the lines, making sure everything adds up. Uh, I think the most difficult part of this is gonna be doing the hood with the fender because we do have to do and line all this up. Oh shoot, it has to this. it has to line up too. Yes. Thanks. I didn't even I didn't think about that at all. Yeah. Holy cow. It's gonna be the hardest part, but you know as long as we don't stretch it too much, it'll look good. Uh, the most important thing is to always make sure all the edges are good because if you don't have good edges then it will just peel, huh? Well let's uh let's get started. So like I said I don't know if we're gonna actually start wrapping tonight. The main the main objective is kinda get everything off and then uh, we'll go from there. If not, we can't really wrap these or everything that's under here. Like we can wrap this, uh, we have to cut this out, but then we need to make sure this piece also has material for it. So always taking off the door handles the best part, uh, and then wrapping this individually will make it a lot easier. All right, well let's uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're going to call it a night for today. I didn't film too much. The reason being is because of the fact that this video was literally going to be like three days in one video. I don't want to make it too long, so I just kind of want to make it like short and sweet. Not too short, but you know what I mean? Like just have it like a, a decent duration. So uh, we're going to call it a day for today. So we got the tail lights off. Pretty much got everything off, and it's pretty much ready for wrap. So the only thing we have to do tomorrow is we got to take off this rear garnish. And then we're gonna have to take off this wing. Like the tail lights are off, the door handles are off. Um, you got the what would you call these? The weather strip, I guess you can say. Those are off. 
Uh, we got the little triangles off over here. We even got the little uh, the windshield sprayers off. We got the headlights off. I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to see some vinyl on this car. I'm ready for a change. Like I told you guys, I've been saying this for months. I'm, I need something different on this car. I've been actually gonna go. I was gonna go after the wheels. I was gonna powder coat the wheels, but you know that would only go so far. So wrapping this car, I think, is gonna take it to the next level. So again, I'm excited for what's to come. I will catch you guys tomorrow. And it's day two. So. What we're gonna do today is, so the guy's actually on his way here, Daniel's actually on his way here right now. So before he gets here, we're gonna take off this rear garnish right here, and we're gonna take out the wing, and I think that's it. I'm gonna ask him if he wants me to take the bumpers off to make it a little bit easier, I'm not too for sure. That's, uh, that's gonna be his call. Uh, we also gotta take off the cup spoilers, and I mean, that's pretty much it. So we agreed yesterday before he left that we're actually gonna lay the camo down first since it's gonna be the most difficult. Um, now I'm just trying to figure out what side I want the camo on. Um, but I know for sure that the side that I put the camo on, I'm gonna have the, uh, the door handles satin black. So they're not gonna be camo, they're gonna be satin black. So I don't know if I want it on the driver's side or on the passenger side. I think he said, I think he said the passenger side and have the, the satin black on the driver's side, but I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll think about it as I'm taking everything off right now. So now that we have the wing off, next is going to be the rear garnish. We also got to take off the Ford emblem in the front. I'm really not too for sure how we're going to do that. I know. When taking off emblems, you're supposed to heat them up. But the thing is, like, since this is old and it like it, it goes on like that. When you pry up, it's probably gonna bend it. But we'll see. Hopefully, I can save it. Ooh, look, actually, it's coming off already, which is not a good thing, but kind of sort of a good thing. Oh, let's go! <laughs> actually, it came off. That was easy, but it wasn't supposed to come off that easy, though. Whatever. This is counted a W in this situation. Taking this thing off every single time, dude. I ain't taking this thing off. Unnecessary for it. They didn't have to be that hard. Unnecessary. Goodness gracious, bro. So we got everything off of the hatch. So rear garnish is off. We got the wing off. So now what we're doing is we're clay barring the car. I think this is what, this is it before we lay, right? Yeah. So well, we gotta do this just to make sure there's no dust particles that are gonna show up on the front because sometimes there's stuff on the paint. And the only way to get it out is by clay barring it. Started. What we decided is we're gonna do camo on the passenger side and we're gonna do satin black on the driver's side. So basically we're just doing this whole side first and then we'll go from there. Um, generally, do you, how long do you think it'll take to do this side? Uh, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So then. All right, let's do it. I'm nervous. Oh, tucking it, yeah. Cause the thing, the thing is, this gasket. I'm guess. Well, it's not that tight, huh? This is not tight. This one appears tight. Oh shoot, it is. All right, you ready? All right, man. Let's do this. Get her done. So before we uh, actually wrap the car, let me explain why. I just need to understand what made you say I want a camo looking as T. So. 
Everybody who knows me personally knows that I love camo. Like, I have camo shirt, jacket, pants, hat, like camo everything. I, I just love camo, I don't know why. So, I always wanted to wrap my car camo, but when I reached out to Daniel and told him I wanted to wrap my car camo, blah, 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 literally right before I ordered it, literally right before I ordered it, I changed my mind because I wanted to do something different. Hold up, Chief. Literally, literally in my head, I was like, wait, what if we split the wrap where it's camo on one side and camo on the other side? That's literally my thoughts. But then right after I thought it, I remembered that I'm not the original thought or I'm not the original thinker of this. So there was, there's actually a, 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 well, there was a Lambo out there that had camo on one side and satin on the other side. So unfortunately, I can't take full credit of this, uh, this wrap job, but I can say that I did think about it and then I thought that, oh shoot, the, the, the Lambo did it first. But that's basically how this wrap came about. But yeah, like I said, I just, I love camo, so that's why I decided to wrap it camo, but I wanted to switch it up. So that's why we're doing satin black on one side and camo on the other. So that kind of answers your question too, because he asked the same thing. I was like, why out of all the colors, Camo. This thing wasn't already difficult enough. Good thing I, like I said, I was gonna wrap the whole car in camo, so imagine how difficult that would have been. Honestly, not too bad, but just a little bit, a little bit extra work. Let's yeah. Get, get All right, let's do it. As you can tell, this is already going to look so sick. I'm so glad I went with this camo. This yeah, you know it took forever for me to find the camo that I wanted. We need your help. We need your help, sir. I need you to hold this corner right here. Hold this corner. I can still back out, man. I can still back out, man. Uh, I'm fully committed to this. You walk right past there, you walk right past there, and you. Hmm? Like. The one over there? Yeah, hold that up. You can take the tape off. For example, pull all the liner off. You want me to hold the bottom too? Yeah, hold the bottom. So we got the wrap laid. Well, not we. He has the wrap laid. Um, Basically, I guess he's trying to straighten it out. He actually had to lift it up again because Lily. I haven't touched it. No, 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 no. She didn't. She didn't make sure that the the wrap was uh, covering said, the side skirt. I said, make sure you have the side skirt. You told him, right? And you she told didn't him. have it covered. <laughs> so he had to lift it up. So it looks like as he didn't get very far, but he did. He just had to undo it. Blame it on Lil's. Go, 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 go. I'm just, I'm, I'm still nervous even though it's on the car. There's really no turning back now. I mean, technically there is, but who in their right mind would turn back? All right, walk us. Oh my gosh, of course that would fall. I, you know what? I'm not mad about the phone. The switch is what I'm worried about. So. Let me go back over here. We already have where it's going. Actually, I'll just do it from here again. And then it looks like this corner when we open the door. But meanwhile, this is all done. The whole piece is done. Sheesh! It looks so good. It's cool because it's literally coming together. <laughs> I think you're more excited than me. <laughs> Which is good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be my side, so. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Be rolling down the window like Hong Kong, Kong. You want to race? <laughs> I got 400 HP. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna call it a night here. So we basically got the whole passenger side finished. Well, just about finished. We gotta do the unapportioned of the side skirts 
and I believe we gotta do this back window right here and it should be completed. So we should be able to get that done tomorrow. Are you guys ready to see it? Ready? So it looks super good, dude. I cannot wait until the rest is finished. It looks so good, man. It's crazy to think that I never wrapped this car. Here I am wrapping it. So like I said, we just gotta do this window right here. Um, the side skirts are pretty much pretty much done. All you have to do is just pretty much cut it. So it is one one thirty eight in the morning. Your boy is tired. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. All right, so it is day, what is it, three? Day three. Day three, so they're gonna finish this side. It's pretty much all said and done. They just gotta tuck a couple stuff. So then we're gonna head over on the driver's side and we're gonna get that started today. Hopefully, you think you'll, you'll finish that side today or no? Side. The driver's side. Yeah, okay, so, and then, Yeah, that, yeah, that, and then your keys. I didn't, I didn't tell you guys that yesterday. So he actually locked his keys in the trunk, uh, in the trunk of his car yesterday. So I had to call AAA, we had to wait. Um, the good thing is he was able to actually keep working on the car and I just went out there and they literally unlocked it within a minute or so. So that, it kind of slowed stuff down, um, but it wasn't too bad. So um, again, they're gonna start on this side today and then most likely gonna save the hood, the, um, the roof, and the front bumper and back bumper till tomorrow. Cause remember, since we're splitting it, that's probably gonna take the most time. So I did a terrible job vlogging yesterday. Like I told you guys, he bought a helper, so I was kind of just leaving them alone. And I was extremely tired yesterday from the night before. So I basically went in the house, I played games a little bit, and then I fell asleep. And then by the time I woke up, he pretty much left. So let me show you the progress that they did yesterday. We got half of the, the hood, I was about to say roof. We got half of the hood wrapped, and then we have both doors and then like that quarter panel. So the only thing really that they have to do today obviously is this fender, bumper, that half of the hood, and then they have to do the roof, the back bumper, the hatch, and then they got to do the wing. So it sounds like a lot, that's because it kind of is a lot. I'm hoping that they finish it today so I can drive it all day tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, so I forgot my tripod mount, so I'm gonna just put you guys right here and we're gonna finish the hood. So right now I'm gonna take off the front cup spoilers so we can uh, start getting the bumper ready for a wrap. Let's do it. It's only hooded on by three in tape and then there's just one bolt back here. It's pleasing to see it cut and it's even more pleasing when you peel it up. Nice. All right, so here's a little update. So we took off the front bumper to make it a little bit easy for him to wrap. So we're taking it off. We took off the fog light housing. We took off the grill. So let me just speak on this a little bit. This was literally the worst thing. This was the worst thing ever. This, like I was telling Daniel, this was harder than doing the big turbo swap. Like I can't, if that, if that doesn't explain it, then I don't know what else to relate it back to, but it was literally the worst thing ever taking this grill off. But nonetheless, we got it off. We took that off, which is actually right over here. And that's pretty much it. So just waiting for him to uh, get to that portion, but this whole side is wrapped. And then he's now doing the hatch. And I think all that's left is just the back bumper and then the hood, huh? The roof and then like the. Yeah, we should have enough. 
We were, we were doubting that uh, there wasn't going to be enough wrap, but... <laughs> Which is good, because like I said, you never know. And then uh, we just gotta do the door handles and this will be complete. The longest thing I think is just gonna put it, be putting everything back together. I think I'm gonna start putting back little stuff like the mirror, um, the little uh, weathering strip, whatever you call it on that side. And I think that's the only thing I can put back right now. Just to kind of like save some time in the future. But just to remind you guys, this was the worst thing ever. I do not want to do that again. So this is hours of me not picking up the camera. Uh, we basically just had our heads down and working. Uh, so this is the final stage of the car so well at least for the final stage for tonight so the whole driver's side for the most part is wrapped we just got to come back here and wrap the driver's side bumper rear bumper but the passenger side is finished pretty much the whole passenger side is finished the only thing that's not finished is the roof and the bumper so that's pretty much all that we have left is we have a front bumper we have half of the rear bumper and then we have to do the roof and then we have to do the door handles and then we have to do the uh, wing but that's pretty much it so um, we're gonna call it quits for tonight it's a long day we thought we were gonna finish today but honestly what took so long was this back bumper right here the back bumper corner we were literally back here for like so long trying to figure out like how to do that so uh, nonetheless it's done the car looks freaking insane dude it's crazy um, we're definitely gonna have to tint these tail lights because that's that's too bright, too bright of a red. So we're gonna definitely tint those tail lights when we're all done. Um, but yeah, we're gonna call it quits for tonight. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. So this is several days after I recorded the last clip. The reason being is because life kind of sort of happened. Um, there was days where he actually couldn't come because of work, which is totally understandable. Um, can't really pour any water on that. So I'm just gonna show you guys the car once it's finished. The reason being is because like the video I already knows the video is already too long. So I'll just show you guys the car once it's finished and we'll get an overall look of it. Okay, so it is currently 3.03 .03 in the morning. We just got finished a couple hours ago. It literally took me a couple hours to put the whole car back together. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys it right now because I'm trying to get this video up as soon as possible. It's already been a week since I've uploaded, which you guys know that that's not like me. I try to upload every single week. Sitting in front of me is the finished product, guys. Before I show you, I just want you guys to get my like natural reaction. This car looks insane. Like, I'm gonna just show you. Oh my goodness. Look at it, it looks so insane. Dude, look. This side is murdered out, it looks like so mad. And then it's, this car looks so insane. I am absolutely in love. So to put it into perspective how in love I am, this may or may not make sense. Tomorrow, I'm just gonna let the car sit. Like, I just wanna sit and look at it. Like, it looks absolutely insane. Like, I am so in love with it. Like, the vision that I had in my head, this 100% topped, like, anything that I could have imagined how it looked. I don't know why I couldn't imagine this look on this car. I knew it looked sick, but, like, I don't know, like, it's, I'm just, I don't know, I'm lost for words right now. This car looks absolutely insane, dude. Like, oh my goodness. So, I'm gonna point out the obvious. And whenever I have like a defect, I always like to point it out. For some odd reason, when we were doing the alignment, this bumper for some reason got misaligned. Like, it was weird because when we aligned everything, it was fine off, but when I started bolting everything in, like, it just got misaligned. So I have no idea what happened right here so of course i want to get that fixed um but i mean it kind of is what it is uh, i do want to fix but like i said it just you know things happen and speaking about things happening well, guess what happened when i was trying to put the car back together so right when i was putting it back together i dropped the socket and it freaking dropped on the bumper and nicked it already isn't that something but honestly I'm not even mad about it. Things happen. Um, it is what it is. Just got to move forward with it. But this car looks absolutely insane, dude. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. So, if you guys want to see more of this wrap, if you haven't already, subscribe. Because there will be more of this car soon. So, the next video, 
we're just gonna walk around and we're just gonna stare at the car for about like nine minutes or so and then I'm gonna close that video out. So if you guys wanna see that video, I'm I'm kidding by the way, but if you guys wanna see the next vlog, make sure that you subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you know when I post a video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and thank you for watching. If you guys stay to the end of this video, comment something down below to signify that you actually stayed the whole like what is it 25 minutes after this video is 25 30 minutes but other than that i will catch you guys in the next one peace out